Long ago, a sleeping princess awoke in a dreamless castle. Born without magic, Princess Sophia looked for the rest of humankind, but found herself alone. Through the dreamless castle, Moonfell Wood, and Goblin Kingdom, she ventured forth. And learned that the humans had fled to the sky, away from danger she was powerless to fight. Sophia did not give up. She made her way to Skyward Castle, hoping to find her people at last. But the enemy was waiting for her. Was she too late? Princess Sophia, is it really you? Have you come back to save us? He was here, Princess. The evil Dreadmire. He attacked the castle and sent a basilisk that turned us into stone. Oh, oh, it was horrible. Dreadmire attacked us, Your Highness. He tried to drain all of our magic. But the king and queen, your parents, they stayed behind to help us escape. They saved us. Please find them. Princess, you're back! I knew our Star Lanterns would find you. Every year, we hold the Festival of Stars for you. It's the winter solstice, you see. The king and queen thought the lanterns would help you find your way home. And they did. Away they flew. Princess Sophia and her new friends soared on the wing fairy towards Skyward Castle. As the Wing Fairy family went off to find other survivors, Sophia ventured into Skyward Castle alone. When Dreadmire attacked, I thought I could hatch a cockatrice to combat the basilisk. In the end, I could do no more than hide the egg. Your Highness, you found us at last. A detachment was supposed to receive you from the Dreamless Castle upon your coming of age, but Dreadmire attacked. Men and dragons live together harmoniously, achieving many great things together. That ended when Dreadmire attacked, leaving only dust. With a crash, the feathers flew and scales shed as the two mythical beasts collided. With the cockatrice's help, Princess Sophia could finally move onwards. Cautiously, the princess took her first steps into Skyward Castle. All was quiet, for the castle had been abandoned a hundred years. Still, something told Princess Sophia that she was not alone. Time is short, Your Highness. It is the eve of the reigning star, a source of immense magic. Dreadmire wants it for its power. If he gets it, he'll be unstoppable. Do 
not be alarmed, Your Highness. I am the spirit of Patrick Dreadmeyer, loyal servant of the King and Queen. The reigning star's appearance awoke me, and I am at your service. The shadows you fought are fragments of an evil familiar I summoned, but failed to control. I tried to stop it, but it killed me and took my place. With a great groan of effort, the doors to the throne room finally opened before Princess Sophia. Will the princess finally find her parents and face the evil that had chased her since the dreamless castle? The king and queen set up a trap and Lord Dreadmire into it. A timeless sphere meant to keep them all in stasis forever. They sacrificed themselves to stop him, Princess, but he's too powerful to see in the way forever. And I? Well, I helped your parents hold off the basilisk long enough for them to deal with Dreadmire. Dearest Sophia, Dreadmire has grown too powerful, but against you, he is powerless. You are our kingdom's future now. Please, defeat him and lead our people with wisdom. Against all odds, Sophia freed herself from the Tesseract Prism and trapped Dreadmire in it, sealing his evil away forever. But she was too late. The king and queen remained comatose, their spirits drained from their bodies. Sophia was now queen of the human kingdom and must lead her people bravely and wisely. But her journey was not over. Evil still lurked in the land, and she did not give up on her parents. Someday, she would save them, and they would be a family again. The Skyward Queen? What do you seek from the Sunhook Spire? I beseech you, leave, for there are many dangers ahead. Well, well, a young lady out for a stroll on the beach. <laughs> it's dangerous out here, don't you know? <laughs> Why not be our guest and let us show you some real hospitality? You've weathered my gift well, your majesty. So, the legends are true. Your resourcefulness is commendable. Men, bring her aboard. She will be worth a queen's ransom. 